Welcome to the testing video of LY70KGF. We will introduce the precautions for the first power test on the LY70KGF to ensure that you can master the basic techniques. Firstly, place the equipment on a flat surface to ensure the safety. If testing the high thrust power, the equipment should be placed behind heavy objects or fixed to the ground to prevent the risk of tipping over. Select a suitable motor mounting bracket and fix it to the motor. Assemble and fix the motor to the motor base with the suitable specialized gaskets and bolts. Install the motor onto the head. Tighten the bolts in sequence. The installation of the motor has completed. Place the ESC on the installation board and connect it to the motor. Secure the ESC to the mounting plate with zip ties. It is necessary to maintain a relaxed state of the circuit to avoid affecting the thrust test. Remove the leakage protection box. and connect the input line of the power supply to the electrical box. Connect the ESC control signal line and PWM out line. And connect the commutation speed connection line to revolutions per minute one. Installation of propellers after ESC calibration and motor trial run. Insert one end of the power cord into the power adapter and connect the other end to a 220V power outlet. Turn on the power switch and hear three sounds of beep, beep, beep after powering on, indicating that the device has been successfully powered on. Wireless data transmission has already connected with the equipment before leaving the factory. Simply connect one end of the computer cable to the USB interface of the communication module. Connect the other end to USB interface of the computer. Open the MET software. The system will pop up a device selection window. Choose the correct stand type based on the purchase device model. Confirming no errors, click the confirm button to enter the main interface. If using a wired connection, first unplug the wireless module plug on the device end. Connect one end of the device end connection cable to the RS422 interface. The other end is connected to the RS422 interface of the device acquisition card. One end to the USB interface of the communication module. 
other end to the USB of the computer. User clicks on the port in the upper right corner. Select the port for connection. The device emits a beep. Software is connected successfully. Click the system settings. Enter into the basic setting interface. Set the PWM range to 1000 to 2000 MUS. Generally, for ESC which is supporting the calibration, the setting range is 1100 to 1940 MUS or 1000 to 2000 MUS. After setting up the software and restarting, calibrate the ESC drive. For the ESC that cannot calibrate the stroke, please refer to the ESC drive manual for setting. When the power of the ESC is not powered on, click unlock to release the throttle. Drag the throttle to 100%. Then connect the power of the ESC. The motor emits a calibration prompt sound. When hear it, lock the throttle. The throttle stroke calibration is completed. Click unlock to release the throttle. Drag the throttle to check if the motor rotates normally and if the motor direction is correct. If not correct, disconnect the power supply and replace any two of the three phase wires of the motor. Connect the power supply and drag the throttle again to check if the steering is correct. Cut off the power. Install the propeller on the motor tightly. Overall power installation and debugging has completed. When the power system is in a power off state, rotate the propeller by hand. Ensure that the propeller rotation does not interfere with any other components. The test bench adopts an infrared detection temperature acquisition method. Aligning the mirror surface of the infrared sensor parallel to the motor casing at a distance of 1 to 2 cm. Pay attention to keeping the lens clean and avoiding oil stains blocking it. Adjust the position of the temp sensor. Stick reflective stickers onto the position where the optical sensor beam is focused on the root of the propeller, ensuring that the beam always falls on the reflective sticker when it touches the propeller. Rotate the blade and complete the pasting of reflective stickers on the other side. Move the propeller away from the beam of light. Align the optical sensor beam with the non-sensing surface Open the sensor calibration cover and press the set. The sensor will display set. Move the optical sensor beam to the reflective sticker on the propeller. Press the set button again. The optical sensor calibration is completed. All other sensors have been calibrated and debugged before leaving the factory, and there is no need to calibrate again. Before conducting the testing, it is necessary to make preliminary software settings based on the parameters of the power system. Before testing, the number of pole pairs for the motor should be set. If the number of slot poles is 12 in 1 for P, then 7 needs to be entered in the number of pole pairs. Optical sticker count setting, this is a measurement of the rotational speed of two blades. Generally, if the number of reflective stickers posted is 2, enter 2 in the optical sticker count field. Shaft power. Generally, for LY Micro 30 kgf, it is recommended to choose commutation speed, while for LY 70 max, it is recommended to choose optical speed. 
direction of thrust, the forward force generated by the motor and propeller, the rear end of the test stand points towards the direction of the motor is called pull, and the direction of thrust is set to pull. Torque direction. If the propeller rotation conforms to the left-hand spiral theorem based on the direction of thrust, it is set to CW. Sampling rate is set to 100 Hz. It is recommended to use 100 Hz for sweeping frequency and response testing, and 10 Hz is sufficient for other tests. Log sampling rate, set to 100 Hz. Other parameters generally do not need to be set separately by users. If there are parameters that need to be measured separately, users can obtain detailed definitions of the parameters according to the user manual. In the safeguard, nine parameter values can be set for protection, including thrust, voltage, current, IR temp, commutation speed, optical speed, total power, power consumption. There are two modes of safeguard, one is alarm. When the test value reaches the protection value, the device only emits an alarm but does not perform the throttle lock operation. The other type is throttle protection. When the test value reaches the protection value, the device will sound an alarm and execute the throttle protection program. Users can set it according to their testing needs. Click Unlock to release the throttle. Raise the throttle to 20%. Wait for the thrust and torque data to be stable, and then lock the throttle. Click All CLR to ensure testing accuracy. After clearing all parameters, click Unlock to release the throttle to conduct testing. Users can choose different testing and data recording methods according to their needs. Click Record. The software will start recording the current data into the log file. Users can drag the throttle bar to test the data at different throttle points. It is also possible to precisely control the increase or decrease of throttle value through setting on the advanced throttle. Click to stop recording data or lock the throttle to complete the data recording. At this point, the data has been stored on the computer, and users can view the original test data in the log folder by clicking on the file toolbar. During the testing process, users can click point or point and new at any time. Each click will record a piece of data at the current time. They average data collected in one second and save it in the log. By clicking on the toolbar, file, view the test point data in the point folder. In the system setting, click auto test. There are seven testing modes available, increase, cycle, custom, sign, linear step and sign sweeping frequency testing let's take the increase mode as an example users of other modes can be viewed through the user manual set the throttle increment to 10 and maintain it for four seconds after setting it click save click unlock to release the throttle click the auto test the software starts executing automatic testing programs Data is automatically saved without clicking the record under the auto test mode. After the data testing is completed, users click on data analysis in the toolbar.
click on the data from the last test to directly enter the data analysis software. By checking the box below, users can view the curve data. Users can choose chart view, data view, and average throttle point data. Click on average throttle point output. User can output the average throttle point data of the current test stored in the Excel files. Click on Curve Analysis. User can draw the power system characteristic curve of the current loaded data. There is a report output setting option in the report output. Users can customize according to their needs. Choose to set the company name, filter settings and characteristic curve settings. After setting up, click on report output and the output report will be stored in the report of the metadata. Above is all the teaching video of the LY70KGF thrust stand. Thank you for watching.